How you doing everyone? So I'm outside right now. Uh, this is the outdoor unit of our heat pump. And uh, this is feeding four indoor units, uh, one 18,000 BTU and three 6,000 BTU head units. And uh, right now I have all four of them turned on uh, and cranked up. So it's producing, I would say, as much heat as it can right now. Uh, outdoor, outside right now, it's about two degrees Celsius. So that would be uh, to that would be like 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's not really a cold day today, but it's kind of cool. But that thing's running pretty much wide open, and that's as loud as it gets. Um, the air coming out is pretty cold, and which makes sense, right? Because it's taking heat out of this air and bringing it inside. So I just wanted to show you outside and you can hear it speeding up hear that so that's the compressor speeding up uh, to deliver more heat inside but uh, it's not very loud is it and um, they say in the summertime when it's in air conditioning mode it's even quieter so pretty pretty quiet unit it's pretty impressive and this unit will deliver um, it'll deliver heat efficiently all the way down to minus 23 degrees Celsius in the winter time. Uh, below that temperature, it'll start losing efficiency. It'll it'll still create heat, but it and I don't think it'll put out its full amount of heat that it can. But it'll do it'll put out its rated capacity all the way down to minus 23. And below minus 23, yeah, it'll lose a bit of capacity, but it'll it'll still work. Um, a lot of people are switching out their gas furnaces and boilers and they're putting these things in place. So, um, I know in Europe, in England, they're giving uh, homeowners 5,000 pounds, so that's like 8,000 uh, Canadian dollars to switch over from uh, natural gas to one of these things. So it's a pretty good deal. So let's go inside and I will show you uh, what I got going on in there. So I just wanted to mention one more thing. You notice it's on a stand. The reason for the stand is, is to keep it out of the snow. Um, because this thing in the wintertime, it does create condensation outside and it will freeze up. It, it's That's just the way they are. And there's a, a heating element in the bottom of it. And uh, so when the thing freezes up, like the coils will get all full of ice and stuff. And then what it'll do every now and then is it'll actually run an air conditioning mode so that'll take a little bit of heat from outside or from inside and it'll use it to defrost the outdoor unit and then so the water doesn't freeze up in the bottom of it there's a small heating element in the bottom for that water to drip out so that water will drip out underneath there but if it's all full of snow around there it won't be able to defrost itself properly so and this defrosting depends a lot on humidity outside and uh i've since we've had it i've only heard it defrost itself once or twice and that was about it so but i'm sure if there's more snow and it gets colder outside it'll defrost more often and that's uh they're designed to do that that's quite normal um, they'll do it a couple of times a day as, as they need to but that's about it but anyway that's it pretty pretty cool unit it's running this is the loudest i've ever seen it and it's uh, pretty quiet so i'm really impressed so this is the indoor unit i had to turn it down because it was getting too hot in here so right now it's not uh, it's not doing anything it's just basically in standby there's no heat coming out of it or nothing right now but uh when it does they're very quiet um you, you don't even really hear it unless it's really trying to to raise the temperature in the room then it will put the fan on higher and you'll hear it but it, it's still not it it's never as loud as our forced air furnaces so these things are incredibly quiet so this one here this is in our our living room our family room whatever you want to call it where we spend most of our time and this is quite a big area so this one here is a 18,000 BTU unit and uh, this is a fairly large area here. It, we're tr trying to get this one to cool the whole lower part of the house down. That's that's kind of the goal in the summertime. And in the wintertime, we just use it for a little bit of supplemental heat. 
because we do have forced air heat in the house. And, uh, but upstairs, uh, the, the forced air heat, uh, the ductwork in this house is really old and the house is never designed for it in the first place. So we don't get much heat upstairs. So we use the ones upstairs more for heat. This one here, like I said, it's more supplemental, but in the summertime, it's going to be really nice. But, uh, so like I said, this is a 18,000 BTU unit and the three upstairs, all three of them are 6,000 BTU. So altogether we have 36,000 BTUs, which is what the outdoor unit is. And uh, so that's a, a three ton unit. And um, that should cool this house pretty good in the summertime. I don't think it's quite enough to actually heat the whole house in the winter because it's an old house. It's not that well insulated, but um, I have a funny feeling if we had to, it would, it would do an okay job. So, but uh, for what we use it for, it's awesome. And these things are super efficient. Um, they're supposed to be really good on, on, on fuel, like on electricity. Um, some studies I, I read, they actually say it's cheaper to run these than to run a forced air natural gas furnace. So I don't know, we just got this thing, so we'll find out. But um, Anyways, I just wanted to show you that, and uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and until next time, take care.